Hi, welcome back to Gargano Tutorials. Today's video will show you how to assign classes through braintop.com. Let's get started. So to start, just log into your employee portal, click on App Services and Sites, and look for the application of Braintop. Since I'm currently in the lower grades of elementary, I will be using Braintop Junior. Once you log into your brain pop, the most important thing is the dashboard. Once you click on dashboard, you're able to see all your classes down here, just how they come out on your gradebook. You're able to assign assignments through each tab, or if you're in a self-contained, like myself, I just assign everything under the link. The easiest way to assign an assignment is by clicking on brain pop junior the icon. Now you're on the website. You're going to search what you want to teach. For example, I want to teach about plants. After I hit the search bar, I can see that there are 22 different videos. You can scroll around, check them out, and see which one works best for you. At the moment, I want to teach parts of a plant. When you click it, there's lesson ideas, you can create your quiz, or you can assign. After I checked out the video, I know that I want to assign this to my students. So I'm going to click assign. Here, I'm given options of what I want to have my students do. I definitely want them to watch the video. Since my students are small, I want them to draw about it. And I want them to complete an easy quiz. Since I've selected what I want them to do, I can click next. Here you can change the title to whatever you like. Since my students are organized and used to having dates, I'm going to put science, which is a subject, and then for the week of. Down here you can also put instructions. As you can see, I listed the date and what I want them to do. For my students, they're going to watch the movie on Monday. On Tuesday, they're going to complete the draw about it activity. And for Wednesday, they're going to do the easy quiz. You can also change these by clicking the little three lines and moving it. Once I'm done, I'm going to hit next. Now it lets you select a class. As you can see, for the purpose of this video, I will be assigning it to Mrs. Depp's class. Down here, you have two optional bars. You can set a due date or you can schedule this for the students to see it at a later date. At the moment, I won't be using any of these, so I will hit Assign. After you assign the activity, you can go back to your dashboard, scroll down to Assignments, and see what you assigned. For example, on my science, I can see that I assigned it to 23 students, but zero have done it. If you click it, you can also see all the instructions you gave. At the bottom, you will find a list of all your students and their status. You can also click view a student to see how they see it. For example, my class will see the name, my instructions, and my three activities. They will complete one per day. If you have made a mistake on any of your assignments, you can click the three dots and you can edit. Once you fix the mistake, you can update. You can assign different subjects including science, reading and writing, and even arts and technology. Feel free to explore these great tools. This concludes today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Gaudano Tutorials, signing off.